What's up? It's Ben from Wad Prep, and I am here with an intense video. Today, I'm going to answer the question, is CrossFit bad for you? And I know you're not expecting this answer, but the answer, in my opinion, is yes, it can be. And in this video, I'm going to cover five reasons why CrossFit might be bad for you and why I think everyone should try it. So in this video, I'm gonna go over five of the main reasons that I hear when people think CrossFit is bad for them, or they, they're like, won't it do blank, or isn't it blank? A lot of these things are true, and we're gonna talk about them in this video because I'm not here trying to convince someone to try it or trying to convince someone not to try it. I'm just trying to speak the truth that I've lived and experienced over the last 13 years. So without further ado, here's why CrossFit might be bad for you. Number one is that anything in excess is bad for you. I don't care if it's drinking water or if it's running or if it's weightlifting or if it's eating broccoli, anything in excess could be bad for you. There is a point of diminishing returns and there is a point of negative returns. So there is a chance that you could do too much CrossFit you could get too far down the rabbit hole and get too obsessed with it, and thus it could turn into a detriment in your life. However, if we look at the United States as a nation, if we look at the world as a whole, what is one thing that we probably all need a little bit more of? Exercise. And if there's one thing, exercise, that we all need a little bit more of, maybe also sleep, okay? But exercise and sleep, we all need a little bit more of that. This this being CrossFit is one of the only things in my life that has made me fall in love with exercise because it's so new and novel and different. It allows me to scratch so many different itches and it's so much fun trying different versions of all the different fitness modalities all combined into this nice little sloppy package called CrossFit. It's why I was able to fall in love with fitness. And guess what? When I fell in love with fitness, you know who started paying attention to their sleep patterns because it was hurting my performance? Me. So yes, everything in excess, including CrossFit, could be horrible for you, including broccoli or running or water or sleeping or whatever. But with the right amount of stimulus, with the right amount of CrossFit and the right amount of focus on what it teaches you, it absolutely can be a great thing for you. Point number two about why CrossFit is bad for you or could be bad for you is that it's way too extreme. Oh my gosh, have you seen on television what CrossFitters do? They walk in their hands. They're doing freaking burpees into muscle ups and the handstand push ups, and, and they're lifting like, oh my gosh, hundreds and hundreds of pounds. I mean, have you seen CrossFit girls? They're so muscular. Yeah, that's because they've trained their entire lives to be muscular. Don't worry. The extremities that you see on TV will not be you. And here's what I'm talking about that would be like me watching an NBA basketball game and being like, man, if I play basketball, I'm going to turn into. A basketball player. I'm going to get really tall. I'm going to be able to jump and dunk. Like I'm going to be shooting from half court. Like I'm going to be so quick. Like I don't want all that. That's too extreme, right? How silly is that? You can still go have a great time playing basketball and enjoying the sport that is basketball and the game that is basketball by playing pickup in your backyard or playing a game of horse with your with your buddy. It doesn't have to look like what you see on TV. The only way you're making it to the level that you see on TV is if you train for a really long time and you dedicate your entire lives to it. So don't worry, you won't turn into the person you see on TV unless you really, really train for it and it's gonna take basically your life's work to get there. So don't look at the extremes that you see on television and all of those crazy movements that they do at the world championships of CrossFit and say, oh, I can't do that. Of course you can't. I can't drain three pointers or, or, or kick field goals from 50 yards away. I can't um, place a perfectly punted uh, penalty kick in the corner of the soccer goal, or excuse me, football goal, or the football net, whatever right terminology is. Obviously, I, I can't do those things, so you shouldn't expect to be able to do the things that you see. So the extreme things that you see are not necessarily the things that you're gonna see inside of a great CrossFit gym. Inside of a great CrossFit gym, including the one that I used to own, we could take a workout that was extreme and modify it for every single human being in that class. It didn't matter if you were the 20-something ex-football player and you were amazingly good at everything, or if you were my Aunt Carol or Aunt Jane who are in their 60s right now and still going to CrossFit five to six days per week. Every single time they came in, we'd modify the workout 
so that it was perfect for their ability levels. So just like we modify other sports to meet our ability levels, that's what you can do inside of a great CrossFit gym. And a great coach will allow you and help you to do that so that you can be working next to a CrossFit Games level athlete and do the same workout and get the same amount of stimulus and have a great time side by side. And that is a beautiful thing that CrossFit brings. Point number three on why CrossFit can be bad for you or why it is so horrible is that it lacks quality control. It is true. Pretty much anyone, even Travis behind the camera, he's, he's waving at you, but you can't see it because the camera's facing me. He could go this weekend and get a CrossFit Level 1 certification. He'd probably pass with a little bit of studying because Travis is a smart guy. And then a couple weeks down the road, he could open his own CrossFit gym and be teaching people how to do CrossFit. That's crazy, right? That's a pretty low bar. It's a pretty low certification level. He just has to pony up a little bit of money and boom, he's off to the races using the CrossFit name and he could run the world's most horrible CrossFit gym and forget everything that he learned at his level one seminar and he could be terrible and he would still have the CrossFit brand. That's horrible, right? Maybe. But what's cool about free markets is that the cream rises to the top and bad businesses close. Bad coaching, gyms that injure a bunch of people, gyms that have terrible programming, tend to sort themselves out and they close. So you as the consumer get to choose the gym that you get to go to. What I love about CrossFit is that there isn't quality control. And that means the flavor of CrossFit that I get in a country like France is a little bit different than the flavor I've gotten in Mexico or the flavor you get in Maryland where I owned my gym. It doesn't matter where you go, the CrossFit gyms are always gonna be a little bit different. And what's cool is that you as a consumer can test out gyms in your area and figure out which one works best for you. Here in Denver, where I'm currently filming right now, there are so many different CrossFit gyms. Some cater amazing to beginner athletes like Vantage, Vantage CrossFit or Vantage Movement is the name. Amazing for beginner CrossFitters. And then we have CrossFit Omnia or Omnia Fitness Collective, whatever they're calling themselves now. That is a great place for super high level athletes because they have an amazing competitive team. And there's so many gyms in between them and with amazing coaching and totally different ways of running their gym. So the lack of quality control, the lack of structure, the lack of franchising actually allows there to be an amazing multitude of different kinds of CrossFit gyms. So while it could be a negative, and yes, you might have tried or you might at one point try a really, really bad gym with bad coaching and it uses the CrossFit name, they have bad workouts, they're, they're terrible. Eventually that gym will hopefully go out of business because you as the consumer get to choose on the free market where to go. So shop around and I bet you can find an amazing gym that has built something special. Point number four on why CrossFit could be really bad is that it's expensive. I'm not gonna lie to you, it's freaking expensive compared to other options like the Planet Fitnesses of the world and the Globo gyms and yada, 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 that might be nine bucks a month or 10 bucks or 50 bucks a month. It's very expensive. A lot of gyms in US dollars, we're looking at at least $150 per month, all the way upwards to $300 per month, depending on the city. However, what matters not is the price. What matters is the results. And as far as I'm concerned, and hopefully as far as you're concerned, investing, let's use an extreme case. Let's say you're paying 500 bucks a month for fitness. That is such amazing return on investment because without health, we have nothing. So when you look at, oh my God, CrossFit's really expensive compared to this other gym. What I want you to do is ask yourself, how have your results been? How has your consistency been? Have you been going to the gym and looking forward to going to the cheaper gym? If the answer is yes, if you're paying $10 a month and you're like, yeah, Ben, I go five days a week and I absolutely love fitness, then guess what? You don't need to move. That's working really well for you. But if you're someone like me that had access to a really cheap gym, but I could never mot motivate myself to go, I'd walk in, I wouldn't know what equipment to use. I just kinda, I would maybe do two weeks at a time doing some bodybuilding stuff, and then I would get really bored and not go for a month. If you're someone that does that kind of ebbing and flowing where you can never stay motivated to go to a gym, one of the best things you can do, I know from experience, and I've seen it with thousands of people, one of the best things you can do is put your money where your mouth is. Take more money, invest it into your fitness, and guess what? When All of a sudden, when you start paying $150, $175 per month for that gym, you're probably gonna wanna use it. Most people don't like flushing money down the drain. Just like spending money on really expensive food, guess what? You're gonna wanna eat every bite, 
that's kind of what going to a CrossFit gym is like. You're spending more money and you're probably gonna wanna go and actually use that membership. So try it out and see if it works for you. Maybe it can help get you out of that slump that you might be having at cheaper gyms because you're not as motivated to go. The fifth and final point on why CrossFit might be bad is that it's culty. Oh no, it's culty, it's clicky. Crossfitters just use their own language and they're all annoying and they won't shut up about it. You should have seen the wad that I hit this morning. What, is, what does wad mean? What do you live under a planet fitness? <laughs> well, newsflash, there's cults all around the world, okay? We have most religions, sorry. We have uh, sports teams, we have different board games, we have art, we have, all, we have car people, we have all these different micro cults that people get involved with and they get obsessed with and they won't shut up about it and they really, really love it. And most of us probably are involved in some way, shape or form in a version of a group or a cult or whatever you wanna call it or a religion. Wouldn't it be nice to be a part of one that is primarily focused on being the happiest and healthiest humans that you could possibly be, right? That's so much better than other ones that are focused on negative things. Right? If, if I'm in a group that is all about drinking, that could be fine with moderation, but if I'm in a group that's all about drinking, the primary focus of that group is not to optimize my health. But when it comes to CrossFit, that's what it is. We're literally trying to forge elite fitness. We're trying to make ourselves harder to kill. We're trying to always level up from no matter what you are on the totem pole, no matter if you're super duper fit or not fit at all, you're always trying to level up a little bit more. I would encourage you, to check out a local affiliate. And the reason being is that because you get to make the choice, you get to choose which kind of gym you go to. You might find a really bad one, you might find a really good one, but I know that if you shop around and you taste what CrossFit is all about, maybe you'll fall in love with it like I did. And here I am 13 years later, and the only injuries that I've gotten are few and far between. And in that last 13 years, a majority of the injuries I've, I've accumulated have been from flag football, pickleball, basketball, snowboarding, mountain biking, all these other things that I do. Very, very rarely do I ever get injured inside of the gym. And I would bet it's gonna be the same for you as long as you keep number, point number one in mind where you have to make sure that you're not doing it in excess. Come in, taste it, fall in love with it. And I hope that you have a similar experience that I did and a similar experience that Thousands, hundreds of thousands of people around the world, millions of people around the world have experienced, including my aunts and my uncles. I have two aunts over the age of 60. My dad just turned 60. Uh, I have an uncle who's, you know, he's way up there. And they do CrossFit five plus days per week and it's helped them recover from injuries. It's helped them prevent injuries. It's helped them lose weight, shake addictions, and it's turned them into happier, healthy humans. I love to see you try that. If you are someone who wants to try CrossFit for yourself or you want to share it with a friend, I've put together a free guide to help beginners start CrossFit. It's the beginner's guide to starting CrossFit and I wanna give it to you or your friend completely free. All you have to do is click the link in the top comment or in the description below, or you can type in the words that are coming across the screen right now. Go there, enter your name and email, and I'm gonna send you a guide that's gonna help you onboard you to find a good CrossFit gym and give you some beginner tips so that you can get started on the right foot. The last thing I will say is you do not need to get in shape before going to a CrossFit gym. Yeah, you'll see a lot of really in shape people there, but I promise you when most of them started, they weren't in shape either. You can start where you're at, try it out, get going, and then you're gonna be amazed at how much more fit and healthy and happy you are in five to 10 years down the road. So with that in mind, leave a comment below. I wanna get some drama stirred up. Tell me in the comments below, why is CrossFit bad? I'm, I'm inviting the haters and inviting the trolls. Please tell me why is it bad in the comments. And then for all the Wad Prep faithful and CrossFit faithful, I'd love to hear your stories. Like how have you found CrossFit to be positively beneficial? I wanna hear the good, the bad, and the ugly in the comments and I want to get in there and discuss with you because this is something that a lot of people, the stigma needs to be broken apart. So I can't wait to see the comments, both good and bad about CrossFit. I wanna hear it all. Thumbs up if you liked the video, thumbs down if you didn't, smash the subscribe button if you happen to wanna see more videos about CrossFit and how to get better at it. And if you are someone who is all in, you're ready to fall in love with CrossFit, you wanna start learning all these different skills, I invite you to come join Wad Prep Academy. It's where we have all of our courses for Wad Prep. We have all the courses that teach us all the various skills and movements that CrossFit has to offer. And you can join that at a low annual rate and get access to everything. So go do that. 
and I'll see you in the next video. Peace. You guys know what this means. Mistletoe burpees! <laughs>